pugilism company read bbs bbs black bird sugar clarissa t-rex shields defeats christina lady hammer by unanimous decision Believe the scores were 98, 92, three times, three times, three times. In the biggest, most important fight in the history of women's boxing, bar none. No close second, bar none. For all the belts. And I mean all the belts. So if or when you go shopping and you find the belt section, uh, it won't be no belts there. Not that. Not even one. Because Clarissa T Rex Shields. Has all of the belts. Undefeated, undisputed, middleweight champion of the world. The GOAT, the greatest woman of all times, man. And after a performance like that against the best opponent she's fought, arguably for sure, maybe Hannah Gabriels or Hammer, one or the other, this was a career best performance for Clarissa Shields. Fighting the same weekend, ironically, as Vasil Lomachenko, himself a two-time Olympic gold medalist, just like Clarissa is. What I love about Clarissa is just how genuine she is. She's just herself, man. I love her ring walk swag. Like, she's, she's, she walks out to the ring like you can almost hear her saying like, yeah, I'm a chick, I'm a chick, but don't get it twisted. I'm that dude. I'm that dude walking to this ring. Y'all better put some respect on me in my name. She has that type of swag, almost kind of like a, a a prime Roy Jones Jr. swag when he used to walk to the ring, kind of dancing a little bit, playing to the crowd, reciting whatever rhymes you, you walking out to. Like, I love that vibe, love that vibe, man. From the beginning, like the very first round, she was looking to counter Christina Hammer's left jab. Christina Hammer, classic one-two skills. And being honest, prior to the fight, I convinced myself that she was the most polished female fighter I'd ever seen in my life. Real good one, too. Uh, good footwork. You know what I'm saying? A, a brilliant left jab. Even if she's not one, two in you, her left jab is, is a mother. So it was, it, was, it was cool to see Clarissa be more polished than her. It just shows the improvement she's made, man. So like I was saying, she was looking to counter the left jab with the right hand over the top from the outset and it pretty much discouraged and uh led to hammer not using her jab as much clarissa showed improved head movement all the while she's sneaking in left hooks to the head and a couple of them made hammer like retreat and then hold especially early clarissa was cognizant of working her free hand whenever hammer clinched like hammer clinches to one hand Clarissa was using the other one, whichever it was. Just just working while she was free with the free hand. Demoralizing, like, discouraging head movement. So she's stalking Hammer at times. Hands, both hands at her knees. Letting Hammer fire. And Hammer still couldn't touch her quite a bit of the time, man. And that, as a fighter, that messes, that messes with your head. So you're a one-two. Your, your trick is a one-two. And you can't land the one or the two. Like, that's demoralizing as hell. I don't care who you are or what you're saying. Real quick, subscribe, like, comment. Sharing is caring. Love tap, bitch slap that like button for your boy. All in all, the fight was a study of Clarissa's superior combinations, superior infighting, and her effective aggression. Effective aggression. Getting back to what I love about her before the fifth, so her trainer, John David Jackson, asks if Hammer could punch. And initially, Clarissa shook her head no as she was sipping some water. But then she said, that bitch got a jab, boy. I'm telling you. Sometimes she throw it and it's slow. And sometimes she throw it and it's like, what? I'm knocking it down, though. She's too slow. Like that's, in a nutshell, that's what I love about Clarissa. The unfiltered, unguarded, just that real genuine vibe that you get from her, man. Uh, in the eighth round, eighth round was her best round of the fight to me. She knocked Hammer's mouthpiece out with a big right cross. It was a borderline 10-8 round, being honest. Again, her best round of the fight. And just being real, if there was more time, there was 60 more seconds in that round, she probably would have stopped Hammer. I'm not sure what we're saving these ladies from by shortening the rounds and 
making a championship fight 10 rounds for women versus 12 for dudes like let's let's go fair play equality man just for for real for real uh shout out to lady hammer though for being one half of the biggest fight in women's history you have to have a willing dance partner that's what women's boxing history has taught me christy martin she never wanted that smoke with Lucille Riker. She was talking about gender testing and catch weights and this and that and the other. Layla Ali, she held all the cards, even had Ann Wolf on an undercard of hers, but in reality wanted no smoke at all. So I appreciate and respect Clarissa's ambition. Here she is, debuted at 68, moved down, moved down to 160 to challenge herself Pursuing the best fights possible. Pursuing the best fights possible. And in the immediate post-fight interview, after she's become the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Clarissa Shields is talking about moving to 54, hoping that Cecilia Brykus, the uh, regarded number one woman in the world, pound for pound, who fights at 47, Clarissa's like, hey, meet me at 54. She's willing to move down even further. And if that fight doesn't materialize, Clarissa wants Savannah Marshall, who's the only person to defeat her as a pro or an amateur. Clarissa's pro, uh, pro record is 9 0, 2 KOs. As an amateur, she was 77 and 1, 19 KOs. And she's uh, wanting Savannah Marshall. That's the only blemish on her record. She even said she would go to England to fight this woman, who, by the way, is from the UK. Clarissa Shields, I respect you and I love you, mama. And I mean this in the most respectful way possible. I wish more of these male fighters had the nuts that you have, my sister. Salute to you. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.